Well, good morning, everybody. Hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome to the live stream. Appreciate you guys joining in. Hope you guys are having a good a good morning so far. Uh, apologize for the delay. Uh, the simulator, for what it's worth, just was not cooperating with me this morning. So I had to do a fresh install of my drivers, restart the computer, restart the sim, everything I did, everything you could think of I did to get rid of that stupid stutter issue that Microsoft has. But welcome, guys. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, we are already running behind, so we're going to go ahead and just quickly get out of here, okay? Because um, I don't want to have to uh, uh, rush into the replays and stuff like that and end stream pretty abruptly um, like I had to yesterday. So we are on the ground in Madrid. We're going to make our way over to Ibiza. We are Air Europa 6025 with service to Ibiza. Um it's going to be a beautiful flight, about an hour and 20 minutes block time. A uh, little under an hour flight time. So I uh, hope you guys are all doing well. Um, and I do apologize for rushing um, to get this flight started. So I'm going to do my best to get things set and ready to go. And then I'll come and hang out with you guys here in just a second. Um, getting connected to VATSIM as we speak. So if you wish to fly with me, uh, feel free to do so. I am at stand T9, I believe. T9. Hope you guys are all doing well. We got Zemp, Just Pilot, Clofrey, Scottish Avgeek, Good Men, Isaac's in the house. What's going on, Isaac? Uh, Gold Engines in the house. Flight Lines in the house. What's going on, brother? Appreciate you guys all joining in. Uh, like I said, I'm going to kind of uh, focus up right now and get the airplane set and ready to go uh, so we can get on our way to Ibiza. So uh, give me just a little bit of time uh, with the airplane, and we'll get set and ready to go here. Uh, for today's flight, we need 14,171 pounds of fuel on board. I'm going to get that set, and then for our payload, we need a zero fuel weight of 126.4, 126.4. Let's go ahead and get that set right there. Beautiful, 135 passengers on board today. Let's go ahead and head down to the tablet. Electronic flight bag, uh, request the SIM brief data. Mikey boy, what's good? Just got back home. First thing I did was slap myself on the couch. Two layers of heated blankets, and it feels so good. And let's go, oh, I can imagine flight line. What's up, Captain Jack? Hope you're doing well, buddy. I appreciate you joining, and hope you're having a good day. I'll try to join on a leg back. I got you, Isaac. Sounds good, man. No worries at all. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and head over to the FMC. Pause in it. We are on the ground in Madrid, uh, Lima, Echo, Mike, Delta. Go ahead and grab that. Grab our... Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to put that in the gate. Let's go ahead and grab our GPS position. <clears throat> Throw it into the IRS position. Go to the head over route. Origin of Madrid. We're going to do flight plan request. Sim brief route. Go and select this route. Do apologize, guys, for the delay again today. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here ASAP. So we are Air Europa or Europa six zero two five is our call sign. Go ahead and get that set. Um, let's go ahead and load this up. All right, beautiful. Let's go and activate and execute this. Uh, the wind's currently in Madrid. Let me go and get my flight uploaded with uh, Navigraph as well. Did a flight at the 738 again today to uh, Barcelona. Had to go around. Oh, wow. Was the weather in Barcelona bad? So I know the weather in Madrid right now isn't the best. All right, weather currently in Madrid. Winds are 190 at 07, which means we are going to be departing off of... I'm assuming the one fours, yes. One four right is going to be our departure runway. Go and grab that. We're going to execute that. Let's head over to our departures. Off of one four right, we're going to be flying the uh, Nando 3 November departure. Grab that and execute that. Let's head over to our route page. Next, from there, from Nando, it's direct to the Mike 871 airway to Laspo, and then Zulu 224 to Verut. And then from there, we're hopping out to our arrival into Ibiza. Weather in Ibiza currently, the winds are at 220 at 3. So we're going to go ahead and plan the ILS. Uh, do they have an ILS for this runway? ILS Zulu runway 24. Yankee X-ray. Yeah, I think we're going to plan the ILS Zulu for runway 24. We're going to take that via Gislu. 
and we're going to be flying the Verut 3 November arrival. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and execute that. Head over to the legs page. Make sure we don't have any discontinuities in the flight plan, which we do not. Beautiful. Let's head over to the internet page. Do our performance initialization request. How to start without PMDG ground services. All right. Uh, I'm confused, good man. Do I know how to start without PMTG ground services? No, I do not, unfortunately. That was great, but my skills are bad. Ah, it's all good, man. I've had many of those days, not to worry. Let's go and load this up. Beautiful. Uh, let's go and execute this. Uh, we are not going up to 330. We're going to be stopping our climb at 300. We're going to go click that, execute. And one limit, no need for a D rate. We're going to D rate our climb, though. Flaps, per the usual, flaps 5, CG trim 21. 20.1% and a trip value of 5.32 with v-speeds 134 136 and 145 beautiful let's go ahead upstairs let's get this apu started up and then let me hop on to unicom to make sure that my microphone is working because it was not connected this morning unicom traffic europa 6025 just a quick radio check please Thank you, sir. All right, beautiful. Let's go ahead and head up to the overhead, do some work up here. Uh, we are cruising at 30,000 feet today, so let's go ahead and set our pressurization panel to that altitude. Beautiful. Um, Ibiza has an airport elevation of 23 feet, so we're just going to go ahead and set that to 50. Beautiful. That's all set and ready to go. We got the APU spooling up. Lovely. Go ahead and get the sim sounds up just a little bit. Beautiful. Rudder twitch and making even the 320 unflyable now for me. I don't fly the 737 anymore because it's way too sensitive. Yeah, Isaac, man. I'd either just get a new side stick or invest in some rudder pedals, man. All right. We're looking good, guys. APU gens can come online now. Let's go and get the APU bleed online. All right. And let's double check that I have pre-filed this flight with VATSIM. That is all set and ready to go. All right, we're looking good, guys. Um, cool. Let's go and get the flight directors going. Our V2 speed was 145, so we're going to go ahead and throw 160 in the MCP VREF V2 plus 15. That's set. The flight directors are on. Beautiful. Um, the altimeter currently in Madrid is 1017, so let's go ahead and get that set right there. Beautiful. I don't know if you saw on Alice stream yesterday, my plane was yawning for no reason. i been taking it apart and tried different fixes, but seems like a design flaw, to be honest. Ah, I gotcha, Isaac. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest with you. I don't use the rudder function of the TCA side stick, so I wouldn't be able to tell you if I'm being honest with you. So, um, hopefully, uh, hopefully you can get that fixed, my man. All right, beautiful, guys. Let's go ahead and head up to GSX for, for pushback and departure. Like I said, we are kind of boogieing up out of here. So... We're going to go ahead and um, get pushed back from the gate, tax it out to the runway and get airborne so we have enough time uh, to enjoy our replays today and I don't have to rush to get out of here. Pretty realistic that reverse rudders didn't work without hydraulics. Yeah. yeah. You know, 737 long hauls by any chance. Uh, only, only ones that I know of, unfortunately, are um, just transcontinental flights. Oh my god, with these freaking throttles, man. There we go. Alrighty, beautiful guys. If you guys are wondering about the scenery, guys, this is handcrafted Madrid. Um, this is a free airport with the premium deluxe edition of the simulator. So if you guys are wanting to do some flying into Madrid, just know on Madrid does have a free airport that comes with the, with the game. Yeah, just transcontinental, good man. Like LA to New York, I know that uh, 737 does that flight. All right, we are looking good, guys. Do apologize for the uh, the rushing to get out of Madrid today, but do not want to uh, run out of time. Do not want to run out of time. So we're looking good. We're going to go uh, nose right, tail left. Actually, uh, let's just do a straight pushback. That looks good to me. 
Let's go and remove the chocks. It's a pretty good scenery. Yeah, man, it, it is. It's really not bad at all. All right, beautiful, guys. We are pushing back from the gate. Let's go and get our fuel pumps online. Lovely. And let's go ahead and turn number two. Beautiful. Got into on the rise. Isaac, have you checked and adjusted the sensitivities for your controls on the software itself? Oh, I see, Isaac. I got you. What's up, Tyler? Hope you're doing well. There's 25%. Let's go ahead and introduce fuel to the engine. Beautiful. Mark. Appreciate you, buddy. Welcome to the Frequent Flyers Club. Mark with a subscription. Welcome, my good sir. Appreciate you joining in. Hope you were having a good day, my friend. Can I get massive W's in chat for Mr. Mark subscribing to the channel? Appreciate you, my good sir. I hope you're having a good day. Alrighty. Sweet. Got a good engine uh, start on number two. Let's go ahead and turn number one. Brakes set. We've been waiting for 25% N2 on engine one. We'll get fuel introduced. Nine away from 700, man. I know. Slowly but surely, we're getting there, man. Love it. All right. Got a good start on uh, our number two as number... Or, I'm sorry, number one as it's igniting. Appreciate that, Isaac. Yeah, man. Nine subs, man. Nine subs from 700 subscribers, man. You guys are absolutely killing it, man. Love it. Really do appreciate you guys. All right, beautiful. Got a good start on uh, number one. The start valve is closed. Fantastic. Let's go and head upstairs. Gen 1 and Gen 2 are coming online. Go and get the APU bleed off. We can go and get the yaw damper, pedo heat, hydraulics, and get our packs online. Beautiful. We're looking good. APU can go to the off position. Let's go and set flaps position five. Lovely. Looking good. Flaps are coming out. Like how Mark's setup is. Yeah, Mark has a really nice setup. Jojo, what's going on, man? Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you joining in. Long time no see. Hope you're having a good day. Yes, this is uh, a Sobo Madrid airport. All right, beautiful. Flaps are set position five. Auto brakes are set to the max RTO position. We'll go and get our engine switches over to the continuous position. Beautiful. Let's do a quick uh, recall on both sides. Looking good. Goodness, excuse me, guys. All right. Lovely. We're looking good. Uh, we've got no ATC online as of right now, so we're just going to go ahead and set our cruise altitude to 30,000 feet in the MCP. And we're looking good. Let's go and arm up the auto throttle. VNAV and LNAV can get engaged and armed. All right. Beautiful, we're looking good. Let's go ahead and get taxied out to the runway. Brakes are released. Look at my ground charts up. I have no idea what taxiway this is. I think that's Alpha? Is it? Oh, gosh, I have no idea. This is such a weird airport. All right. Let's go ahead and get taxied out of here, shall we? 2K is in the house. What's going on, 2K? Hope you're doing well, buddy. Appreciate you joining in. Welcome to the stream.
All right, we are looking good. Kevin Zach, what's going on, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you joining in. Major traffic Europa 6025 is going to be taxiing 14 right via mic. Uh, Madrid. Need your thoughts. I'm thinking about switching to X-Plane 11 because I'm having way too many problems with Microsoft. It being laggy, it crashed, and the physics are terrible. It does not have a lot of planes. Um, I mean, Zach, that's entirely up to you. To me personally, I have both simulators. I have both simulators installed on two separate hard drives. Um, so you could always just run both. Um, but I would do uh your research into what may be causing your issues with microsoft and maybe get with somebody in one of the discords to help you optimize the sim just a little bit mark was the first person who actually got me set up for flight sim i kind of wish i had a setup like his so in time tyler in time and with x-plane 11 i can make it look good and it has all the planes i want yeah 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 definitely zach x-plane 11 is still a very good simulator man still a very good simulator it's not bad at all All right, beautiful guys. I do apologize that I am rushing to get up out of here, but like I said, running behind on stream, I don't want to uh, lose any time with you guys today. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get up out of here. All right, guys, we are looking good. Goodness, excuse me. Just need to buy the Flight Factor 320 Ultimate and I'll fly it more. Yeah, I mean, the Flight Factor 320 is a good airplane. It's not the best, to be honest with you. I would go with the Tolis 320 Neo over the Flight Factor 320. But that's just me. And then get the Tolis 319 and 321. Alrighty, guys. We're going to set a heading of 143. As that's our runway heading. Good man. Have the tallest 320 Neo, 319, and 321. Just need to see you to do realistic ops. I don't want to be doing JetBlue ops in a Neo. Ah, uh, yeah, I got you. Yeah, but unfortunately, uh, Zach, uh, with the flight factor, you only get the CFM, and you would have to do Carter Walls uh, IEE mod uh, to the flight factor 320 to get IEE options. But it's only a, it's only a, 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 a physical mod. It doesn't do anything to the airplane. You're still flying a CFM variant of the Airbus 320. Um, just with IE engines modeled. Looking good. It looks like we got an Iberia 320 over here. Another Iberia over here. Hopefully I didn't load into the wrong terminal. I don't know this airport, so. Well, guys, if you haven't done so already, make sure you smash down that like button for me. Let's go for uh, 35 likes on today's stream. I would greatly appreciate that. Alrighty, guys, let's go ahead and get set up to get up out of here. And Madrid traffic, Europa 6025 is going to be lining up 1-4 right. Madrid. Wonderful day of aviation. Absolutely, man. Alright, guys, let's go and get our lights on. Let's go and spam those togas in chat. And let's go ahead and get out of here. Man, this airport is so confusing with all the terminals that they have. I don't even know if I loaded into the correct terminal. All 
All right, we're looking good. Let's go and get lined up on the runway. Beautiful. All right, guys. Throttle's 40. Go and get those togas and chap for me. And let's get on our way. All right, there's throttles 40 with the rollback. And toga. Major traffic, Europa 6025, departing 14 right on the Nando 3 November departure. Madrid. All right. We're on the roll. There's 100 knots. And rotate. Beautiful. Positive rate gears coming up. Ooh, lovely departure. Man, gorgeous. Let's go and start following this departure here. Beautiful. There's our thrust reduction. Keep the flaps in for just uh, right now as we're climbing out. Just following those front directors. All right, let's go autopilot command A. Ooh, man, beautiful out here. Look at that. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. <laughs> Captain Jack. Toga, get her done. <laughs> oh, man, I love Larry the Cable Guy. All right. Beautiful, guys. Climbing through 6,000. Let's go ahead and get flaps one up. Beautiful. Beautiful, guys. Still has us at 210 knots, so I'm going to keep that notch of flaps in for right now. I was like, how you seeing the flaps from the cockpit? <laughs> What's up, Jake? Hope you're doing well, buddy. Long time to see. Hope you're having a good day. All right, let's go flaps up. My man, appreciate you, Jake. Hope you're having a good day, man. It's been a long time. Hope all is well. Hope the baby's doing good. And we are on our way. Beautiful. What a gorgeous departure out of Madrid, man. Looking good, man. Man, airplane was programmed and we are airborne under 30 minutes. Insane. All right, through 10,000, let's go ahead and get our lights off. Yeah, man, all good here. Glad to see you're still doing your thing. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Slowly but surely, we're getting there, man. About nine subs away from 700, so. It's going good, man. Appreciate the kind words. Hope to get a roleplay in soon, man. But my availability recently just hasn't uh, 
hasn't been there. Just had some events to attend over the weekends. As I really can only roleplay on Fridays and Saturdays. But last couple of weekends I've had stuff to do on those days. Baby showers and all that. I got a birthday party this weekend. Alright, beautiful guys. Let's go ahead and turn the sim down. And we'll get some music started. Alright, let's go and set standard on the altimeters. And we're looking good. Man, look at that. That's gorgeous, dude. No events planned for this week? Yeah, I saw. I saw. I was looking at the availability that everybody voted. I was like, ah. Hope work has been well too, man. <clears throat> well, guys, if you haven't done so already, make sure you smash down that like button for me. Going for 35 likes on today's stream would greatly appreciate that. We're on our way to Ibiza, man. I've been wanting to fly into Ibiza for the longest time, man. That, the, the scenery in Ibiza is beautiful, dude. Really looking forward to this approach into Ibiza. Like how you check what routing uh, do real ops have? Uh, good man, I use Flight Radar tw uh, 24 and Flight Aware. Those are uh, what I use. And I also use Volanta schedules. Uh, if you have the premium edition of Volanta, you can actually check schedules uh, with airlines and stuff like that with Volanta as well. So, like, for example, good man, I'll show you. If you have the premium version of Volanta, right? This is our flight today, Madrid to Ibiza, right? But if I come over here to schedules, right? And let's say I want to fly out of Barcelona, right? All I do is click this airport and it'll tell me all of the routes that are available out of this airport that Volanta has. And you can see the airline over here. So like American does some routes. This is uh, Europa, Air Europa. Um, you got Air France routings and all that kind of stuff. So I kind of just look at this and then I double check the route with FlightAware. Uh, to see what airlines actually operate that route, and then I choose from there. Wonder who showed you that? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Jacob. I appreciate you, man. Hope you're doing well, Jacob. It's been a long time. Hope you are doing well, my friend. Nice, nice. I'm too poor for that. Ah, uh, well, if uh, if not good, man, just use a uh, flight radar two four or flight aware. Those are two websites that I also use. You can also look up the airlines route network as well if you're wanting to fly a specific airline. Gosh, excuse me, guys. I'll check now. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem, dude. <coughs> no problem at all. Might not be able to join for the second leg. Got some work to do. I got you, Isaac. It's all good, my man. No worries at all. be in chat though i got you isaac you're all good my man no worries oh 
Oh, sorry, excuse me, guys. Sorry, guys, I gotta take this call. I apologize. All right, sorry about that, guys. That was, uh, I had to take that call. That was a technician that I've been uh, trying to schedule to get to come out to the house to fix this leak that I have. But we're all good now. Flyby Systems, what's going on, Flyby Systems? Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you joining in. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, there's also a software named Flight Sim Dispatch, which you can search for your laps and it's free. Oh, really? Go to Engine. I wasn't aware of that. That's pretty cool. I'll have to take a look into that, too. Is it Flight Sim Dispatch? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Very nice. Can't wait to do a long haul in triple seven or eight three eighty. So excited for those two. Yeah, definitely good man. Definitely. Man, Spain is beautiful, dude. so many taxiways in Madrid oh yeah absolutely man absolutely man I love this livery looks so good beautiful guys looks like we hit our top of this, our top of climb cruising at 30,000 feet beautiful 
We got a top of descent here in about 80 miles. So what I wanted to go ahead and do now, we're flying the Verut 3 November arrival into Ibiza. It's a pretty self-explanatory routing. It's really uh um not too uh not too complicated at all. If you want to take a look at this with me. So this is the Verut 3 November arrival into Ibiza. We're basically gonna come in from Verut. Uh, bottom altitude is at Gizlu, 3,000 feet, which is our initial ILS fix to runway, uh, hell, what runway was this? Uh, 2-4, 2-4, we're flying the ILS Zulu to runway 2-4. Basically just going to put us on a right downwind and then right base. I'm sorry, left downwind, then we'll make a left base turn and then go final. And then for the ILS Zulu, it's for missed approach, it says climb on runway heading to 800 feet, then turn left and not before delta is 0 decimal 5. The Ibiza VOR max at 185 knots to intercept and follow Romeo 181 Ibiza to Delta 7.0 Ibiza. Then turn left on a 9 DME arc Ibiza to cross Romeo 151 Ibiza at or below 2500. Then turn right to intercept and follow Romeo 139 Ibiza climbing to 3000 then as directed. Okay. Interesting. That's an interesting missed approach. All right. So basically, this is what the missed, missed approach fix will look like if we do have to go missed. Um, pretty uh, pretty simple. I mean, not really too uh, too complicated. All right. Then we'll have a decision height of two hundred and seventy nine feet. Um, yeah, pretty self explanatory. So we're basically from Gislu uh, on the arrival going to be a uh, immediately on the ILS for runway 24. So, looking good. Looking good, man. Just got a negative 271 in the uh, uh, code due to GPWS. Uh, just calling out 10, like, bro, I didn't know when to start my flight. <laughs> I got you, Glover. Oh, wait, this flight sim dispatch thing actually looks amazing. One challenge is trying to find flight numbers for retired historic routes, but that does it all for you. They, uh, yeah, definitely, man. I was looking at it, too. It looks pretty cool. It's 22 degrees Celsius this day. I want a fan so much. Uh, good, man. You can get a fan relatively cheap on Amazon. Uh, R159 and R139 are radios on a VUR. Yeah, I figured as much, Isaac. That is still something that uh, radials and VORs are still something that I'm not too comfortable with. Um, like, I know I know what it is that I need to do, but it's whether or not I can execute it the way it needs to be executed. Lightspeed, what's going on, buddy? Sorry for my time off. I'm going to be lurking today as I got some work to do. No, you're all good. Lightspeed, no worries. I'm like planning a special promo for you and I was on my stream. Look at your camera and smile. <laughs> <laughs> I like the briefing though it adds a bit more realism yeah I appreciate that Isaac yeah definitely so when they're said like that on the missed approach Isaac let me ask you something so when they say something when it says like here like R151 does that mean radio 151 or the 151 radio I see here because it says 151 degrees 139 degrees Oh, okay. So that's all radials. That makes sense. Radials are basically the direction from the station. So if you're heading 270 towards the VOR, you're on a 090 radial. Oh, okay. I gotcha. All right. Hendo, what's going on, my man? Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you joining in. Welcome to the stream. Man, Spain is beautiful, dude. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. I got you, Isaac. Okay. I'm following. I'm following. So if we go miss, we basically left turn to intercept and follow the 181 radial. Okay. All right. Well, I'm not planning on going missed, so we'll see. Got to do too cool. Do you have email you can 
uh, you use, I can send to you. Yeah, uh, Jack, send me a DM on Discord, and I'll uh, I'll give you my email. Modern Jets does it automatically using FMC, but if we fly this mist on a less complex airplane, we have to tune the VOR and manually intercept the radials. Ah, I see, Isaac. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, this is the shit that terrifies me about flight school is learning all this stuff, man. Because on paper, it looks complicated as fuck, but in reality, it's a pretty simple uh, procedure. Miscellaneous photos? I gotcha, Lightspeed. Clofrey, why are you clipping me, dog? Why are you clipping me? I'm deleting that shit. Why are you clipping me? Huh? I'm gonna ban you. Why are you clipping me, dog? <laughs> uh, miscellaneous photos, that's right. Let's <laughs> see. And I light speed's clipping me, dog. Get the fuck out of here, y'all. This is for Jack. That smile was for Jack. And I don't smile very frequently because I don't have the best teeth, right? My family was not best with uh, was not blessed with good teeth genes. Now, IFR theory is one of the hardest, probably the hardest topic. Oh yeah, bro. I can imagine. That shit terrifies me, man. Know that landing challenge with the Airbus? No, Tyler, I'm not entirely sure what you're referencing. Alrighty, guys. Uh, we're doing uh, about... We're about 40 miles, or about 30, I should say. About 30 from our top of descent. So, as I saw on the chart, our bottom altitude for the route through November arrival is going to be 3,000 feet. So, we're going to go ahead and send 3,000 feet to the MCP. All right, that's all set and ready to go. And our minimums for the arrival was 279. So we're going to go ahead and get 279 set. Uh, yeah, I have to write both CPL and IFR written soon. So it'll be a rough ride. Gosh, man. Yeah, that terrifies me about flight school, man. I'm not going to lie. Didn't get to finish my flight from uh, Medford to San Diego. I'm about to do that now. Nice, Hendo. Hell yeah, man. What a clover clip. What do you think he clipped, Lightspeed? Y'all both clipped me doing the same shit. Did a landing challenge with a default Airbus and got a negative 113. Nice, Tyler. Nice. That's a good landing. Oh, beautiful. Coming up on the coast of Spain. Love it. Oh my gosh. Lightspeed, what else did you clip? That's going on your Phoenix wallpaper, Clofrey, I swear to God. PMDG publishes jokeless April Fool's Day development. Two new seven, what? Allegedly too busy with their upcoming products to be funny. They have skipped on this year's April Fool's shenanigans as they didn't want to play with people's feelings by pretending to delay a product release or something. Uh, the key of the joke is knowing when not to play a good joke. 37 line currently under critical fixes. Only development status given the work up from triple seven. That's what the build. Goodness. I started to add wear and tear to the cockpit and previews will be shared eventually. Oh, nice. <laughs> nah, you're good, Captain Jack. 
It's all good, man. I don't mind. I don't mind. It's just uh, my viewers being my viewers, man. Clipping me. <laughs> it's all good. I really don't mind. I'm more being uh, uh, facetious than I am anything. 747400 on the other hand will reflect the heavily used airplane as their real research counterpart did. Imminent release for the 777. Hmm. Cool. Maybe we'll get the, the 777 this month. Maybe. Thank you, good man. Appreciate that. Nah, you're good, Captain Jack. Not to worry, my friend. probably gonna come out this month i hope so isaac and i hope they fucking announce the release date so i can take the day off of work we need the triple seven i agree i agree i'm gonna be flying that airplane like literally all day gonna demand pmdg to release this month yeah right i just gotta figure out how to use discord too many ways to make contact anymore hey, i got you jack yeah, Discord's relatively simple, man. You just got to create your account, and then uh, I can give you my username, and then you can send me a friend request, and we can just DM each other from there. Sorry, I guess I had to plug something in real quick. We are on the descent, though. We're looking good. Make one under Captain Jack Flight Sim. I got you. Definitely, man. Skills, what's going on, brother? Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you joining in. There are four... Uh, Zemp, I don't understand that message. <sighs> Set PU in my server was an actual pain in... Amount of time Dino just left the server without me telling it to was too much IDK. What Dino is. Are you good, Lightspeed? I'm not reading English. I don't, I'm not. I'm having a hard time understanding what you guys are. What you guys are talking about right now? Well, will the damn 737 Max come out, man? Yeah, I don't know, Shaq. Hope you're doing well, Shakovich. Yeah, I am not sure. I know iFly has one in the works, but no idea when that's coming out. There are four minimums on Navigraph for landing in uh, um, Ibiza. Uh, yeah, Zemp, you need to uh, select the minimum that matches your um, that matches your aircraft uh, type or rating. So, usually, if you're flying a commercial aircraft, Isaac told me it's either Class C or D. When the U.S. I got changed uh, to the onset driver, it really messed things up for Boeing. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, man. Boeing's really got a lot of quality control to uh, to figure out for sure. Their quality control lately has not been the best. Get 
some lights in the cockpit just a little bit. Alrighty, guys, we are on the descent into Ibiza. So what I want to go ahead and do now is I want to go ahead and get my localizer frequency set in the standby with our inbound approach course set in the MCP. So we're going to have an inbound approach course of 241. So let's go ahead and get that set 241. We'll get that set both sides. All right, beautiful. And then we have a localizer frequency of 109.5. So we got that set in the standby as well. Beautiful. Setup of my server was a pain amount of time. Dino just left the server without me telling. It was too much. I don't know what Dino was smoking. I'm done with that. It's been uh, good for you. Uh, the Dino mod or the Dino, um, what the, uh, the bot? Yeah, I haven't had any, any issues with the bots. Uh, the Discord bots at all. I have the Aviation bot, Easy Pull. I have the Mi 6 bot. The Mi 6 bot is much better than the Dino bot, in my opinion. Kind of reminds me of when FRS system messed up the MD-80s uh, River Raiders in 1992. Yeah, true. Very true. Do you know you don't need to set the course uh, if you just set the ILS frequency on the active? Yeah, I know, Clofrey, but I just do it as a, as a means to um, not fuck anything up, right? So I just set everything manually just so that the aircraft does exactly what I want it to. Alrighty, guys. There is the beautiful island of Ibiza. Man, I want to go to Ibiza IRL so bad, dude. Uh, I was just leaving the server nonstop. I've got it under control now, but as soon as I entered it, it left again. I'm not sure light speed. I've never had those issues before. You guys have some of the weirdest freaking issues, I'm telling you. In sim and out of the sim. You guys have some of the weirdest technical issues I've ever heard. Shaq, the 777. The 777 will be the next airplane to release for sure. We should be getting the 777 here anytime. Like genuinely should be should be getting it within the next I, I'd hope within the next week or two. But I hope that PMDG releases a release date so that way I can go to my boss and say, hey I need this day off. Because we're going to fly that airplane literally all day. Do a legitimate test of the 777. Doing a long haul in that airplane. Straight talking out of my ass and bro was like, mm -hmm, yep, I agree. Well, you know, Jacob, <laughs> when it comes down to shit, I have no idea what you're talking about. I have, you know, I'm just going to agree. I agree to disagree. So, you know, you say something to me that is untrue. I'm just going to, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yep. Don't know what you're talking about. Yep. <laughs> I thought when you were talking about the MD eighties, I thought you were talking about that, uh, that bolt in the, in the elevators on the, uh, on the vertical stabilizer and in the horizontal stabilizer that caused that Alaska flight to crash. I thought that's what you were talking about. But my statement about Boeing is still very accurate. They have a lot of quality control to get in, uh, to get in uh, to get their name back to being what it needs to be. So in my defense, I thought I knew you were talking about, but apparently that's not true. So you know, what can you do? <laughs> All right, we're going to get 1018 set in the standby for the altimeters. I'm first going to do a short haul on the 777 to get the feel of it. Uh, and if it can fly it good. Uh, yeah, true, Clofrey. Yeah, we might do that too. We might do that. We'll see. We'll see. 
They should let you put your setup on wheels and test the PMD triple seven while at work. I God, I wish. Beautiful guys about to fly over the coast of Ibiza. Man, look at that. This is gorgeous. God, I want to fly here in real life so bad. Alright, I'm going to get some speed brakes out. Help the airplane slow down just a bit. For some reason, there's Boeing 777 short holes. Like American does some. Yeah, American, United. It's all their older 777s that are no longer uh, transatlantic uh, certified. Or oceanic certified, I should say. And Ibiza traffic, good evening. Europa 6025 currently descending out of 111,000 on the for Route 3 November arrival. We're going to be flying the ILS Zulu runway 24 transition. Ibiza. By the way, Lennon Luton was so busy today, it might be because I and I builds new scenery. Probably. That doesn't surprise me. Got a negative 167 with IEs last night. Nice skills. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, dude. guys about to be descending through 10,000 feet so we're gonna get our lights on for right now get our engine switches back over to the continuous position man look at that funny thing is I got a negative 49 at Miami with the CFMs 2 yesterday nice skills hell yeah dude hell yes beautiful landing man you guys gotta start posting your landings recording your landings and posting them in uh, landing reactions for me Actually, I think I got rid of that uh, section. I'm going to have to uh, remake that section. Like, re what real ops would you recommend uh, to me that flies the 7th day, like for four hours? Uh, good men, I would do Salt Lake to Minneapolis or Detroit, Delta 737. Will replay duty use flight recorder? Yes, yes, flight recorder skills. And keep helping the airplane slow down just a bit while it's slowing down we'll go and get a notch of flaps out and we'll go ahead and uh shut the music off for right now get our sim sounds back up and get prepared for this landing into ibiza all right beautiful guys Goodness, excuse me, guys. My allergies this morning. Clips and highlights, I got you. Just going to take a look at this real quick as we are um, getting ready to arrive into Ibiza. Uh, X-Plane, Clofrey? I'm assuming. Got my CPL nav only flight test next Thursday. I hate flight tests. It scares me. Ah, you'll be all right, Isaac. You got this far. I have faith in you, bro. 
Why are your spoilers out? Oh, this is Microsoft. That's why. A very true Ryanair landing. A very true Ryanair landing. Very, very nice. Floated, not gonna lie. Ah, I gotcha. This approach is nice. Yeah, it is. Beautiful approach, man. Over the water. Lovely. And Ibiza traffic, Europa 6025, turning on left base for runway 24. Ibiza. Makes the scenery Orbix? Uh... I don't remember. No, this is an INI build scenery. Got it on the INI builds uh, website for $12. It's on sale right now if you're wishing to pick it up. Jack, I got your friend request. Went ahead and accepted it for you, buddy. How much storage do flight recorder clips usually take up? I don't save them, skills. Because you have to be in the simulator for them to replay. So I don't save them. So I wouldn't be able to answer that question. Alrighty, beautiful guys. Let's go and arm up this localizer. Oh, we can't. We're too far from the airport. Let's go ahead and set our altimeters. I bought MSP flight beam and man, do I get good performance. That's good, Zip. That's good to hear, my man. And Ibiza traffic, Europa 6025 has just turned on final for runway 24, about 2323 nautical miles from the field will report established. Ibiza. Beautiful, guys. Let's go ahead and get our localizer frequency to the active. Let's go and arm up this localizer. That's why I wasn't arming up initially. Let's go and arm the approach. Sent you a message via Discord. Thanks, Mike. I got you, Jack. I got your message, Jack. I will get that sent over to you as soon as I can. Go ahead and keep the speed in for right now. It's actually start slowing us 180 knots now. With the 1050 Ti, nice, Em. Yeah, man. <laughs> I know you have a 1050. Man, you were getting on Owl's nerve yesterday, I'll tell you. <laughs> Shockingly, I didn't lag at all in EGGW uh, loot and I and I builds with a lot of people. Nice, Cliffrey. That's good to hear, man. No worries, thanks, and I won't abuse the privilege. No, you're good, Jack. Not a, not to worry, bud. Not to worry at all. All right, guys, let's go and get some more flaps out. We'll go flaps position five. Oh, man, this is a, a gorgeous freaking arrival, dude. Look at this, man. Let's go and get landing rate monitor open. Man, we should have done Ibiza, Madrid, Ibiza, so we could do the replays over the water, but it's all good. Ibiza traffic, Europa 6025, fully established on the ILS Zulu to runway 24, about 15 mile final. Ibiza.
All right, let's go ahead and select our approach reference with flaps 30, 144 knots. Looking good. Go and get flaps 10 out. And I love watching the flaps deploy on a 7.3. Cut the airport in sight. All right, we're looking good. Go around altitude for this approach is going to be 3,000. So we're going to go and keep 3,000 MCP. We are fully established now. What's up, V-Seth? Hope you're doing well, buddy. Appreciate you joining in. My man says, Smash? You must not know who you're talking to, bruh. <laughs> yeah, look at this missed approach right here. That is so interesting. Alrighty, guys. We have an approach reference of 144 knots, so we're going to go and get that tuned in now. Keep adding those flaps in. Go ahead and get those landing rates in chat for me. That sounded just so accurate on the 737 degree job. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Negative 69. Mm. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Pause. All right, go flaps 15. Gears coming down. Yes, I know. Can't go flaps 15 into 737 without the gear being out. Come on, airplane. Relax. There we go. Thank you. Forgot you can't set flaps 15 without the gear being down in the 7th rear. You get that annoying ass horn. And Ibiza traffic, you're up at 60255, mile final 24. Uh, Ibiza. Appreciate it. Rodney, what's going on, my man? Hope you're doing well. Good afternoon, Mike. Aces Landing once again. Saints Gear. Hell yeah, man. Who that nation, baby? You already know. Alrighty, guys. Let's go ahead and get this landing. Got a negative 235. Not bad. That's why I do gear down first, then flaps 15. I usually do that, V-Seth. I just forgot today for some reason on this flight specifically. One thousand. thousand feet stabilized. Continue our approach. <laughs> V-Seth really wants me to smash this landing. <laughs> And Ibiza, Europa 6025, short final, runway 24. Ibiza. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and take the throttles. And my airplane. Just watching those flight directors. I've got the numbers now, so eyes are on the runway. Man, look at this approach, dude. Minimums. Landing. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Oh, beautiful. Oh, man. I really hope they fix the ground physics in the next uh, simulator, man. Beautiful. Negative 182. I'll take that. 
All right, let's go and stow those reverses. Keep letting the airplane desail. We'll take this next right here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ibiza. Beautiful landing, man. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. And Ibiza traffic, Europa 6025 is clear. Runway 24 at Tango 2. Tango to the terminal. Final call. Alrighty, guys. Beautiful. Let's go and get these landing lights in. Let's go and get the APU started up. Beautiful landing, man. Let's go and clean up the airplane. Speed brakes are in. Flaps are coming up. Take that one all day. Nicely done. I appreciate that, Jack. Thank you, my good sir. With the butter emoji, Mr. Isaac. Appreciate you, my friend. He said... <laughs> Puts the smash emoji. He he. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Lion Air right there. Beautiful. We gotta do some Lion Air flying. Although I have no idea where they fly. Alright guys, do you guys want a gate or you want to stand? Gate or stand? What do you guys want to see? Make it quick. Want me to go to an actual gate or do you want to go to a stand? You gotta let me know now. Why is Lion Air there? It's an Indonesian operator. I have no idea. <laughs> That is a good question. All right, you guys took too long. Take it a stand. Do oh, you want a gate? Gate? Okay. Stands are cool. Yeah. Southeast Asia, only reason I know is because they had the first max crash. Yeah, well. Stand, gate. I see three stands. I see three gates. You know what? We're taking a stand. Second stand 15. I think this is pretty cool here. We're just going to take this stand here. All right, taxi light can come off. Let's see if we can't get a dance. All right, beautiful. Park and brake is set. We forgot uh, APUs started up. APU gens are coming on. I thought I forgot to start the APU. APU bleed and engines are coming off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ibiza. Very good parking. Hey, dance. We need to dance. Come on. You got it, girl. Go ahead. Back. They never want to dance anymore. Yeah, the weather is nice. Rather walk outside like at Burbank and one time at Sacramento. Yeah, I've never taken a stand at uh, an airport, Jack. I've always been at a gate. I've never deboarded an aircraft, not with a jetway attached. I would love to do that, man. The amount of photos I would take, dude. Bruh. All right, guys, let's go and call up GSX. Let's go and request some deboarding. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to beautiful Ibiza International Airport, man. I and I builds airport twelve dollars on sale right now, bro. Twelve dollars on sale. So if you guys want to pick up this scenery, I highly, highly recommend it, man. This is a beautiful, beautiful scenery. Absolutely lovely, man. 
And what's awesome, too, is that these stands, you can actually taxi forward and then uh, taxi out this way instead of having to push back onto an active taxiway. So we're actually going to start our engines here at the gate and taxi forward. Beautiful, man. What a lovely, lovely day of flying so far. Got one more flight to do. One more flight. Alrighty. Beautiful, guys. Let's go and get the transponder off. We're looking good. All right. Lovely, guys. Let's go and get some music playing. All right. Been on a stand two times. One on Qatar Airways, one on Indigo. Nice. Um, hell yeah, man. Stands are generally only in Europe. True. True. When I went to Hawaii, that is the only time I didn't go out of a gate. Ah, uh, nice visa. Yeah, I can imagine. Looking good in 1440p on the stream. I appreciate that, Mark. Hope you're doing well. Is this the only leg? No, Tyler, we got one more. We're going to be returning to Madrid. Alrighty, guys. Speaking of, let's go ahead and get our second flight filed, shall we? Let's go ahead and uh, find a flight number for us to use. All right, we're going to be Europa 6024 this time. So let's go ahead and go new flight. It's AEA 6024 from Ibiza to Madrid. We are a Boeing 737-800 economy config only. And we're going to go only up to 29,000 feet for this flight. Very short. Alrighty. What runways are they landing on? Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. We'll get that figured out. Sweet. Nice. In less than an hour, I'll be doing uh, Leon France to Frankfurt. Nice. All right, guys, if you're wishing to fly with me, we are at stand 15. Feel free to join up if you wish to do so. We will be on VATSIM, as we always are, as the passengers are deboarding the airplane. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Alrighty, guys. Let's go and generate this new flight. Let's go and get pre-filed on VATSIM. We are Europa 6024. Go and file that on VATSIM. Let's go and start our new flight. That should be updating any second. There we go. Lovely. Let's go and disconnect from VATSIM and reconnect under our new call sign of uh, Europa 6024. Lovely. Where are we at in the like department, guys? Only have 15 likes so far, guys. Make sure you smash down that like button for me. Going for 35 likes on today's stream. If we can't hit it, it's all good. But if we can't, we can't hit that goal. I'd greatly appreciate that. All right. Lovely, guys. This is all set and ready to go. Let's go and import our new flight into Simbrief. All righty. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and head down over to the tablet. Let's go and request some new data from Simbrief as the airplane is deboarding. Beautiful. First flight really wasn't that long. 49 minutes airtime. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Lovely, man. I like this livery a lot, bro. This livery is really, really nice. If 
first flight was light work, right? Yeah, we're going to add like about five minutes to the second flight. It's the second flight. We're going to have a little bit of a headwind. Beautiful, man. Gotta love it. All right, guys, while well, we're looking good, just waiting for the passengers to deboard from the airplane. We'll get on our way back to Madrid. Owls in the house. What's going on, Owls? Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you joining in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I bet you're a bit of a sore loser today with losing that bet. Just saying. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, buddy. Hope you're having a good day. Appreciate you joining in. Man, I'm really enjoying being back on the 737. I can't lie. Says 1K, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm sure it does, bud. I'm very sure it does. <laughs> At least on my screen. Weird, huh? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. How much time did I take you to edit in Photoshop, bro? <laughs> Dom's also now. What's going on, Dom? Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you joining in. Welcome to the stream. All right. Deboarding is completed. Let's go ahead and head over to the FMC. Go ahead and turn the sim sound just a little bit. Turn the music down just a little bit. I kind of want more background style music. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and head downstairs to the FMC. Let's head over to the menu. FS Actions. We're going to go ahead and head over to the fuel. For today's flight, back over to Madrid. We need a total fuel on board of 14,138 pounds of fuel. Let's go and get that set and ready to go. Lovely. And then for payload, we need a zero fuel weight of 128.3. Oops, sorry. That's all set. 143 passengers on board today. Beautiful. Let's go and head over to the FMC. Let's go to index, ident, pause in it. We are on the ground in Ibiza, L-E-I-B. Lovely. Let's go and head over to the route and do a flight plan request. While we're doing that, we can now head back over to GSX and request a boarding. boarding bus is Lovely. Editing, this isn't Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stupid ass green screen, man. Can't wait until I'm in my new house with my office, man. I can just get rid of the green screen and just have my office in the background. All right, beautiful. Let's go and load this up. All right, beautiful. Let's go and activate and execute that. Lovely. We're going to be departing off a of runway 24. 
Beautiful. Let's go ahead and head over to departures off of runway 24. We are going to be flying the Zosta 4 Echo departure. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and execute that. Head over to route page next from Zosta. It's direct to the Mike 134 airway to the VLC VOR. I have no idea what the VLC VOR is. What is the VLC VOR? No idea. And then November 733 to Prado. From there, we're going to hop onto our arrival. From what I can see here, they're actually landing. Let me see here. They're landing on the 1-8s in Madrid. So we are going to plan 1-8 left for our arrival. So let's go ahead and head over to the approaches page. And we are going to be flying the ILS. Sorry, guys. Just one second. Navigraph is taking its sweet time loading. From Luler. Yep, we're definitely flying the ILS Zulu to 1-8 left. So let's go ahead and get the ILS Zulu from 1-8 left from Luler. We're going to be flying the... Prado 8 Echo Arrival. That's all set and ready to go. Let's go ahead and execute that. Let's head over to Legs page. Make sure it's all set and ready to go. Lovely. Let's go ahead and head over to the Performance Init. Let's go ahead and request that. All right, beautiful. Let's go and load this in. Lovely. Let's go and execute that. We're not going up 320. We're going to be cruising at 329 uh, or 0. Go and execute that. Wait, is that the wrong cruise altitude? Let me see. No, that's fine. Yep, 29,000 feet is fine. Not a long flight at all. And one limit. No need for a D-rate. We're going to do a D-rated climb, though. Take off flaps 5 for the usual. CG trim at 19.9% with a trim value of 5.40% and our V speeds 135, 137, and 147. Beautiful. 147 set. We can go ahead and get 162 set into the MCP as our V2 speed. VREF plus 15. Let's go and do a quick reset of the flight directors. Uh, we do not have any ATC online, so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and set up Flight level 290 in the MCP is our final cruise altitude. Lovely, lovely. Want to fly in the US on Vatsim, but I haven't since the new CTAF thing. How does it work? Uh, Jacob, all you really have to do is look for the tower frequency on your chart for the airport that you're flying into, or type in dot CTAF and then the airport IKO um, into the uh, Vatsim text uh, chat box. And that'll give you the frequency that you need to be on. And basically what you need to do is basically you just treat it as a tower frequency. Once you're airborne, you switch over to Unicom. It's basically uh, what they're trying to do is they're trying to keep it from. They're trying to make it so the Unicom frequency isn't so congested, right? So. So for those airline airport or those aircrafts that are on the ground aren't getting stepped all over the place by the aircrafts that are in the air. So once you're airborne. Maybe passing 10,000, you can go over to Unicom. You know, maybe 5, 10 miles past the airport. Something like that. Madeira Aviation Spotting. Hello from Madeira. I love your channel. Hey, I appreciate that, Madeira. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you joining in. Welcome to the channel. And welcome to the live stream. Appreciate those kind words, my friend. All right, lovely, guys. Airplane is boarding up. The box is already all set and ready to go, so we're just going to wait for our passengers to get on the airplane, and we'll get on our way up out of here. So do I declare intentions same as Unicom when I'm on the unmanned tower frequency? That is correct, Jacob. You treat it exactly how you do it on Unicom. You're just using a different frequency. I love how the passengers that are too tall for this door are actually ducking, bro. Did you see that? I have never noticed that. They are ducking themselves into the airplane so they don't smack their forehead onto the aircraft. Like, watch this guy. Definitely too tall. Ducks. Look at that. I've never noticed that. That's awesome. That's crazy. 
attention to detail. I love it. Looking good, guys. Just waiting for the passengers to get all set and ready to go. And then we will get on our way out of here. Yeah, I saw that the other day. Yeah, I've never noticed that before. That's awesome. Sorry for all the questions, but I assume top-down still works the same. So if center is online, I contact them instead of CTAF on tower. That is correct, Jacob. You still treat it the exact same way as Unicom. It's just literally a different frequency. But if there is controllers online, i.e. approach, tower... Uh, center, anything like that, then you'll do it. Uh, you'll contact the appropriate controller as necessary. Well, basically, like on approach, right? What you're going to do is after you state your final intention for Unicom, you'll switch over to the CTAF frequency when you're on final. And then you'll start stating your intentions on final as if you had just contacted the tower frequency, right? Um, so it's just so that uh, 122.8 isn't as congested as it has been, because that's been a massive complaint with VATSIM as of recent, is how congested the frequency has been. And people just stepping all over each other, not listening to radio, this, that, the third. So they're trying to do their best, at least in the U.S., um, to keep the frequency from being so congested with so many airplanes. And vice versa, the planes that are in the air or um, are that are trying to state their intentions on an approach or something like that aren't getting so stepped on by people that are pushing back from gates and taxiing and this, that, the third. It's literally just to make sure that the frequency isn't uh, so, um, so packed with people trying to state their intentions. Alrighty, beautiful. Airplane is all boarded up and ready to go, guys. So let's go ahead and get the music shut down for right now. Lovely. It's all set and ready to go. Let's go ahead and... Uh, sorry, let's go ahead and remove the chocks. I'm sorry, remove the chocks. That is all set and ready to go. All right, we're just going to go ahead and start right up here at the stand. Let's go ahead and get the packs off. Let's actually go ahead and set our pressurization panel to the before we forget that. Madrid has a landing elevation of almost 2,000 feet, so we're going to go ahead and get 2,000 set in the landing altitude. All right, that's all set. Let's go ahead and get the beacon light on. Fuel pumps can come online. Beautiful. And let's go ahead and... Is there any way... No, okay. I don't know if you like there was a way to contact GSX and let them know we're starting at the stand, but that's not a thing. So, all right, beautiful guys, let's go ahead and turn number two. Did we turn the packs off? No, we didn't. Let's go and get the packs off. All right, we got N2 on the rise. In the words of my good friend Owls, we got spinach. Waiting for 25%. Introduce that fuel. Engine start at gate. Yep. Start the engines at the gate. <laughs> Owls spinach. Yeah, Owls, if you don't have this scenery, bro. It's $12 right now, man. The scenery is so good. It's so good, and the performance is amazing, dude. Highly, highly recommend it. All right, beautiful sound like we got a good start on number two. Let's go ahead and turn number one. Got N2 on the rise. EGT's coming down. Oil pressure's coming up. Beautiful. There's 25%. Let's go and introduce fuel.
Really wish the engine sounds were louder on the startup with the PMDG. It's my only complaint. I hope those triple seven sounds are good by PMDG, man. I really hope. Like those GE engines, man. Gosh, I cannot wait to hear those start. All right, beautiful. Got a good start on number one. Beautiful. Wait for it to stabilize. Looking good. Let's go and get the engine gens online. Lovely. APU bleed can come off. Get the yaw damper online. Pedo heat can come on. Get our hydraulics started and we'll get the packs back online. Lovely. All right, we'll go ahead and set flaps position five. FS man, what's going on, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Beautiful. Alrighty, guys. Let's go ahead and get the auto throttle armed. Start squawking for that's and purposes. We'll go ahead and arm up LNAV and VNAV. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and release the brakes. And let's get up out of here. Beautiful, man. All right, beautiful guys. We're gonna go ahead and get taxied out. Let's go ahead and make our call. Night piece of traffic, Europa 6024. It's gonna be taxiing on my 24 via Golf 2 and Tango. Night Pisa. Wait, you got the FT Sim sound pack? No, Zem, this is default PMDG sounds. That looks real, not gonna lie. I appreciate that, Owls. Alright, man. Ta coming out of the apron. Taxi light can come on. Love it, man. Love it, dude. Alrighty, guys. All right, get on our way down to uh, Madrid. If you guys haven't done so already, make sure you smash down that like button for me. We are going for 35 likes on today's stream. We are only at 19. If you could do me that big favor, I would greatly appreciate that. It is completely free to do so, and it helps out the channel tremendously. So. I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, such a nice airport, dude. I wonder if we can do a long haul out of Ibiza. Like to appreciate that, Owls. Thank you, thank you. You streaming it, Owls? Yeah, you're doing that United, right? That Star Alliance livery with the mismatched cowling. What was that? Uh, Vancouver, San Francisco, Salt Lake, right? 
I forgot to turn off the APU. What do you mean? Is APU still on? Oh, whatever. APU's off. You guys act like it's a felony crime with the APU still running on departure. That's a very common thing. Downloaded Microsoft 2020, but it's taking uh, so long. I'm only at 14%. Uh, percent. How long did it take you? Uh, Robin, it took me about an hour, I want to say. About an hour. 30 to 45 minutes, give or take. It's no long hauls out of Ibiza. Damn, that sucks. Imagine flying to Air Europa 787 out of uh, Ibiza, bro. That'd be crazy. And Ibiza traffic area, Europa 6024. It's going to be lining up and departing runway 24. We're going to be departing on the Zosta 4 Echo departure, Ibiza. Oh, that's right. Vancouver, San Francisco, Vegas. That's right. All right, guys. Lights are coming on. Engine switches going over to the continuous position. Go and get those togas in chat for me. Go and ding up the cabin, let them know we're about to depart. An hour to download the whole simulator. What's your average megabits per second? Well, I pay for, uh, I pay for, uh, gigabyte download speed, right? So I usually get anywhere from on a download. Um, I usually get anywhere from, uh, Five to eight hundred megabits per second, give or take. Depends on the day. Alrighty, guys, beautiful. Let's see those togas, please. Get those togas in chat. Let's go throttles forty. All right, those throttles forty with the rollback and toga. All right, there's two good engines. Airspeed is alive. There's a hundred knots. And rotate. Beautiful departure. Positive rate gears coming up. I don't know why the PMDG always wants us up at like 25 degrees pitch up. That is excessive. Man, beautiful departure. Look at that. All right, let's go and start pitching the airplane down. We're looking good. Go autopilot command A. Get some views out of here. Oh, beautiful, dude. Look at that. I want to go to Ibiza IRL so bad, dude. Alrighty. On the Zosta 4 Echo departure, we need to maintain 205 knots until we get to India Bravo 600. And then we will speed up to 250 for India Bravo 605. Beautiful. Took me 18 hours to download. Jesus. Man, what a beautiful departure. I'm gonna keep those flaps in until we start accelerating. Robin Riley coming in with a subscription. Robin, welcome to the Frequent Flyers Club. Appreciate you joining in. Some massive W's in chat for Mr. Robin. All right, beautiful. Let's go ahead and go flaps one.
and then we'll go flaps up. Man, this is a beautiful departure, man. Lovely. I'm going to go standard on the altimeters. And I piece of traffic Europa 6024 out of 6000 on the Zosta 4 Echo departure. Uh, we're departing to the west. Final call for a visa. Great day. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get caught up on chat real quick. We got Clofrey with the togas. FS Man with the toga. Uh, Flightline with the togas. Owls with the toga. Gigliotti with the toga. Um, we got Clofrey with the V1 Rotate. Appreciate you guys. Uh, Robin says, can a 13 year old play on Vatsim? Uh, you just have to, um, you have to pass the test, Robin, in order to get your account. And then you just got to practice. Dude, my first ever retro ops, America West from Las Vegas, Los Angeles. Nice, Jacob. That's awesome. Yeah, you just got to practice, Robin, like Basonic said. All right, beautiful. Still lurking. Appreciate that, Lightspeed. All right, guys, let's go and turn the sim down just a little bit. Get our music back on. All right, we are through 10,000. We're going to get our lights off. Lovely. Ladies and gentlemen. On our way to Madrid. Beautiful. Oh, y'all speeds fast for no reason. Took me 36 hours straight up. I timed it to download it faster on my laptop than my actual PC. That's crazy, man. Well, I have a direct connection to my uh, to my modem, and I pay for gigabyte download speeds. So the sim took like an hour to download for me. An hour, hour and a half, maybe. I don't remember this exact time, but it wasn't that long. I live in Sweden too. You gotta get a VPN to USA to not have eight megabit per second. Uh, really stupid, but you have to. Ah, that sucks, cool free. Alrighty, beautiful guys. We are on our way. idea flight line seven hundred subs giveaway no Zemp our next giveaway is gonna be at um a thousand subs I mean we could do like a uh, sim market gift card giveaway or something like that but I wasn't planning on it we'll see we will see. And we are six subs away from 700, guys. Can we hit 700 this stream? That'd be crazy, man. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell your aviation enthusiasts. Let them know to come and check it out. And drop a sub. I would greatly appreciate that. Just wait for FS2024. People would be saying 100 hours to download it. No way. No way. It'll probably take me uh, 45 minutes to an hour to download it. I don't know how you guys get such slow download speeds. All right, beautiful guys. Really not much to look at right now as we're over the water. Go and head outside. There goes the island of Ibiza in the background. Lovely. Not on fold. Wait to give them what they want when you get what you want. Yeah, exactly, Boylan. I know at a thousand subs, we're going to do a uh, TCA side stick giveaway. 
when is microsoft 2024 coming out no idea robin they haven't said anything about it yet presumably i'd assume somewhere probably after the expo i'd assume in august maybe <laughs> jacob <laughs> jacob Is Sim Update 15 out? No, Giggly added it, delayed it. Should be out sometime this month. You're not giving away that, so you're giving that to, to your boy? Ah, uh, well. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, beautiful. Quite excited for the Phoenix 319, 321 expansion plus the Starkless. Same here, man. I'm telling you, when that 321 comes out, man, we're going to be flying the fuck out of that airplane. I'm telling you. It's going to be need maintenance within a week. Beta not worth it. I don't usually participate in beta programs, Gigalotti. An update screen that flashes for half a second. Uh, I'm not sure, light speed. I am not sure what you're referencing. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Fly line. <laughs> How do people like the Sharklets? Uh, they look cool, man. Sharklets are really cool on the Airbus. Download 21 gigs out of 129. Oh, uh, yeah, it's going to take a minute. Every plane that comes out, I'm going to fly the shit out. Nah, nah, I'm just telling you the 321 in specific. In specifics, is an airplane that would be flown on this channel on a regular basis. I promise you that. Do you fly on X-Plane or were you saying it wasn't working for you? No, Tyler, I used to fly on X-Plane. If you go back to the beginning of my channel, you'll see all the X-Plane streams that I did. Fence winglets just look so good. Yeah, I mean, the fence winglets look really awesome. I mean, that's, that's, I mean, that's really iconic with the Airbus, right? It's those fence winglets, but... The shark looks just looks super cool. Gives the Airbus a little bit more personality. day so far <sighs> my opinion might piss some people off but sharklets are the best winglets sorry bone oh, yeah yeah I mean well that guys you know I think of the flight sim community and I'm gonna I'm not going to rant, but I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm going to be brutally honest for a second. I think the flight sim community is way too opinionated, way too opinionated for a majority of those that are in the flight sim community that aren't even real world pilots. There's just too many opinions and not enough facts, right? And when it comes down to the opinion on what airplane is better and what winglet is better, whether it's sharklets or split scimitars or whatever it might be. Who gives a fuck, right? 
My favorite airplane is the Boeing 757 with winglets. People don't like the 75 with the winglets. Sorry. Click the back button, go find someone else to watch, right? And, you know, just when it comes down to people's opinions, you just got to respect it, right? Flightline says the Sharklets are the best winglet. I don't have an issue with that. I could almost agree with that, right? You know, uh, and, you know, the flight sim community, and I'll put it, I'll put it in this way, right? In my opinion, the flight sim community is the most genuine but toxic community I have ever been a part of. Does that make sense? Like, I've met some very genuine people in the flight sim community, i.e. Flightline, Owls, Vseth, Lotto, Captain Jack, so on and so forth, right? Uh, but there's a plethora of people that I've met that I've actually become very good friends with, right? Now, granted, Owls and I have a, a sizable age difference, right? I'm 12 years older than he is, but who cares, right? You know? Owls and I, I consider Owls a very good friend of mine, right? Regardless of the age difference. But the toxicity in the community sets differently, right? So, you know. That's just when it comes down to the mere fact of the thing is people have their own opinions and people are allowed to have those opinions. That's the beautiful thing of freedom, right? Is you're allowed to have your opinions right so you don't even have to worry about pissing people off flight line that's your opinion right and your opinion isn't going to change based off of some 13 year old that thinks something is more superior than the other than what she probably that that teenager probably couldn't even tell you the difference between the two right so thousand percent agree yeah, i appreciate that tyler I uh, saw like a 12, 13 year old getting bullied in Vatsum because he didn't know how to communicate with ATC. Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about when it comes to toxicity, Robin. And if I'm on the frequency and I hear that shit, I will happily push my push to talk button and say, look, dude, he's obviously on here trying to learn. And the toxicity that you're displaying right now isn't helping. So either disconnect or just bud the fuck out because that sim's motto is aviate educate and communicate right keyword in that motto educate right so don't worry about that people like that just need to get fucked right just get bent you're flying a virtual fucking airplane on a virtual air traffic simulation network like you're not you're, you're not god's given gift to aviation i can promise you that right Flight simmers are really pretentious people sometimes. Yeah, well, the majority of people in the flight sim community think they're know-it-alls, bro. Like, I don't know it. I don't know everything in the flight sim. Like, granted, I know a lot about aviation, but I'm not a real-world pilot. I'm not check-rided on any of these airplanes. I, I could probably be flying the, the, the 737 completely wrong. But I'm here to learn, right? Uh, Well said, here, here. You can tell him I'm an old guy. <laughs> I got you, Jack. You're all good, man. Don't get on if you can't communicate with ATC. Oh, that's not the C skills. That's the, that's exactly what I'm saying, though. It's like you have to get on to learn, though, right? That's exactly what I did. I had to get on the frequency, and I put in the notes when I got on Vatsim that I was new to Vatsim and learning, right? And the controllers were very patient with me. And over time, it just over time with practice, you get better, right? You, in order to get better, you have to do it, right? It's like flying these airplanes on the sim. You're not going to know how to fly the 737 unless you fly it, right? Does that, does that make sense? And I'm not trying to sound rude or anything like that at skills, but he has to get on the network in order to learn, right? Say that louder for the people in the back, right? <laughs> yeah. All the Facebook pilots, exactly. I fake Mike isn't my friend. I'm toxic behind the sky, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, they can get banned, Robin, if people are displaying toxic, toxic behavior on Fats and Bits against their code of conduct. You know, Mike, unfortunately, there's a lot of folks who feel like they can hide on the internet, unfortunately, that way with a lot of internet communities. Yeah, I call them keyboard warriors. And Zemp is bullying me when I'm trying to learn, to be honest. Yeah, and, and stuff like that. It's just, it's, there needs to be zero tolerance for that type of stuff, right? And whatever's going on between you and Zemp, that, need, that just needs to be handled. Don't be afraid to fail. You will mess up readbacks. It takes time to learn. Exactly, exactly. 
do not be afraid. Just one thing, the only piece of advice I can give you, Robin, is if you are actively speaking with your with your finger on your push to talk button, right? And you're actively reading something back and you mess up, let go of the mic, take a second to regain your thought, think about what you're gonna say, and then start to say it again. Just repeat yourself, right? As my wife says, it ain't for real, it's a computer simulation, it's a hobby. Yeah, exactly, right? You can connect an observer and listen to what people read back. Yeah, true, true. You're on a virtual network with a 99% chance of not having a real world license. Exactly. You know, some questions I ask seem stupid to others, so I don't ask. No, no question that people ask me is a stupid question, right? I will always do my best to answer it as much as possible. And that's something I did when I was a training officer at my last job, right? Don't be afraid to ask me a question. If you feel that the question is stupid, I still want to hear the question because no question to me is a stupid question. At least you're asking so you can get the correct answer, right? And I think we can all agree we are 100% certain that at least a V1 and rotate are correct. Yeah, exactly. Pilot Rocky's in the house. What's going on, Pilot Rocky? Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you joining in. Hope you're having a good day. We were just having a, a discussion. Sometimes people forget their na uh, real name is associated with their VATSOM ID. Yeah, true. I mean, and even at that, it, it really doesn't matter. You know, at the end of the day, when it comes down to the the community in and of itself, is I'm very much so wanting to see progression and growth, not toxicity and um, demeaning behavior, right? I didn't put up with that when I was learning. I remember when I first got on the VATSIM, it was like maybe my second or third flight. I was doing okay, but you know, I still was making some mistakes here and there. And some pilot came over the network and said, like, look, dude, if you don't know what you're doing, just get off the network. And I came right back on the mic and I said, well, I'm on the network to learn. So if you got a problem with it, go ahead and dot wallet me and I'll have a conversation with the supervisor. But if you don't have anything that's going to help me become a better VATSIM pilot, then you can just keep your mouth shut. How about that? And the guy came back and said, are you really going to talk to me like that on the network? I was like, well, you decided to say something to me and tell me to get off the network because I'm actively trying to learn. It literally says in my remarks when you click on my name that I'm a new pilot to that soon. You got a problem with it? Say something to a supervisor, but don't come at me like that. I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing, bro. You got a problem with it? Go to 122.8. As a real world pilot, I got nervous the first few times getting on VATSIM. Yeah, I mean, it, it just, it's just, that's just how it is, man. Why do you think I haven't flown on Pilot Edge yet? I would love to fly on Pilot Edge, but at the same time, like, I just say, I'm not ready for it, bro. I don't feel like I'm ready for it, right? Can you feel me on what we're talking about? Uh, pilot Rocket, we're just talking about the, the flight sim community and the, the toxicity here uh, sometimes with people, the pretentious people, as Flightline says. It's just a it's just a topic of conversation that we're talking about. I was giving my opinions. Now, granted, within the flight scene community, there are amazing people in this community. Yeah, uh, you know, Basonic coming in with a subscription. Basonic, my man, I appreciate you subscribing. Welcome to the Frequent Flyers Club. Massive W's in chat for Mr. Basonic. Appreciate you. But other than toxic people and pretentious people on the network, you do have there I believe there are more genuine people than there are toxic people in this community, which is what I love. Right? I've met some awesome people in this community, man. So I don't want you guys to take away that I think that the flight sim community is just toxic in and of its entirety. That's not true, right? I've met some amazing people throughout this community, man. So once again, here, here, I appreciate that, Jack. We all have one common interest in aviation. Let us be the nerds that we are. Exactly. We're all here for the same reason, right? Doesn't matter the simulator we're flying. Doesn't matter the airplane that we're flying. Doesn't matter none of that. We're all here for the same reason, right? What's 122.8? Unicom. The Unicom frequency on Batsim. What are we talking about? Ah, Isaac, we're just talking about the Flight Sim community. That's really about it. I mean, like, honestly, you guys just got a full display of toxicity last week with a certain individual, right? It's toxicity. It's unfortunate, but you know, like for me, when I first found Owl's channel back in September of last year, I was like, man, I've never seen this guy before. Never watched his stream. I came in at the last minute before his stream ended. And I said, wow, man, definitely earned a sub for me for sure. 
And then I jumped into his next stream and I, you know, we had gotten in contact with each other and I told him, I was like, hey man, you know, I'm a, I'm a flight sim streamer here. I just got started here. I've only got about 30 subs, you know, literally owls has watched me grow from the beginning. Right. So, uh, you know, and with, that's why I support owls as much as I do. That's why I donate to him. That's why I gift memberships. That's why I, um, that's why I sent him those rudder pedals, you know, that's because I see a ton of potential in Owls' channel, right? And I think he's doing these things for the correct reasons. He's not doing it just for the money, right? Because the, the, even if you're in this just for the money, you're going to be sorrily fucking disappointed, I'm telling you. Because the money isn't there until you start really growing, like really growing, like Captain Canada status, right? But wonder why 122.8 is called Unicom and not in root frequency. True. Check your Discord. What's up with your Discord, else? Announcements. As you guys saw, we're streaming this ordinary liver those. Ooh, nice. Oh yeah, dude. Beautiful shots. <sighs> That's a crazy livery, bro. Mismatched nose cone, mismatched cowlings. That's crazy. That's a dope livery. I'm gonna have to fly that. As I just set up Discord, Captain Jack Flight Sim, and anyone send a and anyone send a friend request. Yeah, definitely. I tried to help you. Don't need all that. Thank you though. Oh no, no, I'm not. By no means am I saying anything negatively, Owls. Right? Owls has been here since the beginning. And to be honest with you, Owls' community is who got me started. Right? And, you know, we're just growing from there. I, I, I truly believe Owls is up there with some of the best flights and content creators. That is my opinion, 100%. I don't know what United was on. It looks bootleg, but I'm here for it. <laughs> right? Those are the best liveries, though. The dirty ones with the mismatched cowlings, damage, all that. Those are the best liveries, bro. And it's not that you tried to help me. I was, you did help me. And your community helped me tremendously when I first got started. So. Genuinely. I, I will support when I, when... When I come across a channel that I want to support 100% of the way, I will support that channel 100%. Right? The controller in ZME, the RTC I am in is a real 22 razor back. Center, I believe he said everyone has to start somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The Sonic never, uh, never flown in Stockholm. Never flown in Stockholm. We've been to Oslo, Copenhagen. And I think one other place, but never been to Stockholm. Yeah, anytime, Alice, man. Anytime, man. I'm, I'm super excited to meet you in person at the expo, bro. We're going to have a good time. You know, my wife will be there. You know, I'm really excited to meet you guys and just have a good time. Found Owls Channel 3. Exactly. See, like, see, like skills found me through Owls and, Owls, and Isaac found Owls through me, right? So, you know, that's just... That's what I love about this community, you know, and that's that's where the toxicity just needs to get out of here, man. We need to be here to support each other and not bring each other down, right? All right, guys, bottom altitude for this arrival is going to be 8,000 as we've talked our entire way through cruise. Um, Top of descent is coming up here shortly. We're less than 10 from top of descent. Beautiful. So we're going to go and head over to descent. We're going to go descend now. We're going to get a little bit below that VNAV profile. Do a slight early descent. Man, look at that beautiful scenery out there. If you guys have not done so already, I'm going to say it till I'm blue in the face. Make sure you smash down that like button for me. We are at 25 likes. We are five subs away from 700. Absolutely insane. Really, really do appreciate you guys, man. We are almost 70% of the way to 1,000 subs, man. Absolutely crazy. Really do appreciate you guys. You know, this was a dream of mine, man. I, I have been telling my fiance for years that I've always wanted to stream Flight Sim. 
man. I've always wanted to get in and share my knowledge, share my experience in a real world and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, now that I'm actually doing it and I'm seeing the channel progress and people subscribe in and, you know, meeting new people and all that kind of stuff. It's awesome, man. I cannot thank you guys enough. Had this one guy who streams I watched all the time and supported. He got a kid and family, which resulted him in quitting flight sim. Man, time goes on. Oh, yeah, man, definitely. And it happens, man. I know I don't know if I'm, uh, YouTube's going to be a forever thing for me, but, you know, it's it's here now. So we're focused on the now, you know. Same for me, Mike. Found you, found owls when I was down for knee surgery back in December. You guys got me started and inspired me. I appreciate that, Jack. That means a lot to me for sure. Like with Captain Canada, man, I've been a member in Captain Canada's channel for almost six years. Almost six years, I have paid that channel five dollars a month consistently without without interruption, right? I love Captain Canada's content. He gets a lot of hate, but uh, he gets a lot of hate for the same reasons I get hate. It's because I'm honest. I'm I'm blunt. You know, I tell people how it is. I have no I have no problem sitting in a Discord call and telling people that they're being stupid, right? So. Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 is in the house. Uh, can I join at your next flight? Uh, this is our last flight for the day, uh, Microsoft, but uh, definitely feel free to join us on any time that we're flying for sure. If I don't see you at the expo, can we hit you up to try and meet so I can say hi to you during the expo? Yeah, definitely, Tyler, for sure, man. For sure. Can't wait to see y'all and Dom at the expo. Yeah, man, it's going to be a ton of fun. I'm super excited for the expo. Here goes Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 coming up with a subscription. Massive W's in chat for Mr. Microsoft coming in with subscription. Appreciate that, my good sir. Thank you, thank you. Massive W's in chat. What channel is your Captain Canada member on? This channel. Flight Speed. All right, beautiful guys. We are on the descent. Lovely. Can I put my channel link in chat for or no self promo? Well, we don't do self promotion in the uh, chat Microsoft, but I do have a self promo section in my discord. If you join my discord, if, so when you go live, you can go ahead and uh, post your uh, your link in um, that channel so exclamation point discord in the chat if you would like to join the discord <clears throat> oh i like that jacob welcome to the family with the massive w hell yeah man i like that a lot I have 109 subs. I've been growing like crazy. I'm getting all these new subs. Yeah, definitely, Tyler, man. Consistency is a big thing with YouTube, man. Consistency is, consistency is a very big thing. You know, send some screenshots uh, last night. I got your skills. We'll go ahead and take a look at some screenshots. Haven't done that today yet. Go and take a look at some screenshots, shall we? All right, let's go ahead and take a look at some. Oh, beautiful shot in Vegas. Love it. The United 320. Got Scottish Avkey coming in with some beautiful 7-3 shots. Wi-Fi with some beautiful shots as well. I believe flying the uh, fly-by-wire. I believe this is the fly-by-wire. Yep. No, this is not the fly-by-wire. This is the INI I builds. Nice. Hendo with a beautiful United shot. Love it. Love to see it. Got Sam coming in with some beautiful shots. Gorgeous. Negative 235. Not bad. Not bad, my man. 
Nice. Look at that shot right there, Waves. Yeah. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that for show. Beautiful shot skills. Love it with the stratosphere in the background. Love it. Loving the stream so far, man. It's really good. I appreciate that, Microsoft. Thank you. Oh, wait. Jacob, just beautiful shot right here with the America West. IE engine. Love that. Absolutely love that. Beautiful. Ooh, nice. This is Captain Jack's Captain Jack Flight Sims uh setup right here. Absolutely beautiful. Love that. That is a dope setup right there. Very, very nice. Appreciate that, Waves. That was a beautiful shot. Yeah, definitely going to have to use that the next time we fly United. Do you allow video links? Uh, here, exclamation point rules in chat, uh, Microsoft. That's what my Discord is for. Oh, man, look at that, bro. first time tuning in no you're good microsoft not to worry not to worry at all my friend oh, never mind let's watch my life right so i can appreciate that now that i have learned how to use discord yeah definitely jack for sure i have a flight sim setup section in my discord uh captain jack if you've joined it um feel free to post your setup there as well reacting to youtube shorts is in the house what's going on reacting hope you're doing well appreciate you joining in wonder what planes will be like in gta 6 considering the amazing graphics yeah true right Ruby's still sick. I know it's been a, a little while. No, no, she's not sick anymore. She's been being a normal little dog. No, okay. <laughs> Why is your ear like that? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> yeah, she's doing all right. But she's a chewer, so she gets nauseous when she chews on stuff, so... Despite, uh, despite flying in North America, everyone I'm hearing on frequency sounds British. Perhaps I'll never escape. <laughs> right. Want a subscription, but I cannot uh, afford it. But I want to show the most support possible. I appreciate that, Microsoft. It's all good, my man. Donations and memberships are not required, nor are they expected. So I really do appreciate that. Wi-Fi coming in with a $2 donation. Wi-Fi, appreciate you, my man. I get massive W's and dollar signs in chat for Mr. Wi-Fi dropping his daily dono. I appreciate that, my friend. Hope you were doing well, Wi-Fi. Really do appreciate that, my man. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe. Let's get to 700 subs and 30 likes, shall we? Absolutely. I could not agree more, Isaac. I could not agree more. There comes Wi-Fi super chat coming through. Appreciate that, Wi-Fi. Hope you're having a good day, my friend. Uh, why are we flying so slow? Oh, that's because there's a 220 knot restriction at Nosco. Ah. Tis makes sense. All right, let's go ahead and manually take control of the speed then, if that's the case, because I'm going to start getting some flaps out being we're flying so slow. We're still at 16,000 feet. I'm going to just get flaps one out for right now. Give the aircraft a little bit more lift. Hopefully I can get a better landing in the 900 on Friday. Yeah, definitely, Tyler, man.
And this is going to be a beautiful approach in a Madrid, man. Looking forward to it. You deserve more subscribers to the amount of work you put in. I appreciate that reacting. Hey, look, man, I'm just here to have a good time and share my passion of aviation with everybody else, you know? So I really do appreciate that. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Give me just a second, guys. Miss Ruby's getting into stuff she's not supposed to be getting into. All right, we are back. <laughs> she had a sock in her mouth. <laughs> when do you stream? My name is Ben. Oh, I appreciate that. Uh, ben, I usually stream. Uh, I try to stream five days a week. Uh, obviously, I still work full time and I have a, I have a fiance and all that kind of stuff. So sometimes uh, I do miss streams and sometimes I oversleep because of the job that I do. So, um, I usually try and fly, uh, five days a week at minimum. I'm practicing, but always have trouble landing 737 compared to the 320. Uh, I got you, Gigliotis. Well, one thing that I teach people when landing the 737, uh, Gigliotis, is, um, the 737 sits much lower to the ground than the A320 does, right? So, um, when landing the 737, you have to take that into consideration, right? So in the A320, I usually start my flare at about 40 to 50 feet, right? In the 7.3, I don't flare until about 30, right? So you just gotta gotta keep that in mind that the aircraft is gonna look a lot, uh, it's gonna look a lot lower to the ground when you're coming on landing, right? So I would just take that into consideration when you're landing the airplane, Gigliotti. basically every day except for Sundays unless any unforeseeable things happen but mostly every day yeah yep Scottish Avi Geek is back Scottish Avi Geek hope you're doing well appreciate you doing it back in 320 is a lot easier to fly yeah Ben I, I, I love the 320 it's one of my favorite airplanes like I said five days a week with the occasional long hauls exactly yep Landed in uh, Palma de Mallorca with the 320, the negative 22 foot per minute. Nice. Nice. That is a greaser. Yeah, Gigliotis. The 737 does not need a lot of flare. So at about 30, I usually bring the aircraft to about two and a half to three degrees nose up. Um, and I just kill the throttles slowly, but progressively. I don't just drop the throttles, right? I just slow motion down to idle. What is your name in the server you are on so I can add you for future flights? Uh, Microsoft, we are on VATSIM. I'm not on a multiplayer server. And Madrid traffic, good evening. Europa 6024 currently descending out of 11,000 feet. Uh, we're descending currently on the Prado 8 Echo arrival. We're going to be playing in the ILS Zulu 18 left. We'll call base and final. Uh, Madrid. Uh, 
Alrighty, guys, for the ILS Zulu to 1-8 left, we need a final approach course of 180. So 180 in the inbound approach course on both sides. Let's go ahead and get that set. And our localizer frequency is going to be 111.5. Let's go ahead and get that set into the active. Oh, you're on the flight sim service? No, I gotcha. Yeah, we don't usually fly on the multiplayer servers, Ben. And I'm glad to be here on the channel. We'll definitely hop on Vatsim with you sometime. Yeah, Basonic, anytime, bro. I love having people fly with me. That's one of my favorite things about uh, streaming is when you guys fly with me. So feel free to do it anytime you see me live, man. The only thing that I ask is professionalism is of the utmost, uh, utmost importance when flying on the network. So I just ask that you're professional and that you follow the code of conduct with Vatsim. So that way it does not, uh, it does not, um, come to bite me in the ass negatively. Can I share my name in chat? Yeah, that's fine. All right, guys, through 10,000, we got the lights on. Engine switches, uh, engine start switches are over to the continuous position. Let's go and arm up these speed brakes. <coughs> Michael, what's going on, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you joining in. Welcome. Guys, if you're not familiar with Airborne with Micah, it's another fantastic flight sim content creator. Definitely click on his name, go to his channel, and um, give him a shout. Your Xbox name? Yeah, a few. That's fine. That is fine. Man, this is a beautiful approach, man. Look at this. Spain and Ibiza are literally like, so the three places that I want to visit in Europe are Italy, Spain, and Ibiza. Those are like on my top three list to go and travel. Howdy, howdy. Totally not Mach 1.7 in a 737. Oh my gosh. That airplane would be ripping apart IRL. <laughs> Can you add me? Uh, Microsoft, I don't, I don't, I don't use Xbox, so I don't, I have any of the Xbox stuff on my computer. Thank you much. Appreciate it. I'll be doing the same for you as it's well deserved. I appreciate that, Micah. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is the shit that I love about Microsoft. Uh, or about the flight sim community is you meet fantastic people that will support one another, right? Let me know when you're on VATSIM. Uh, need your help? I uh, gotcha. Yeah, man, come to Italy, man. I want to go to Italy so bad, dude. Saucy is bat 7030 is in the house. What's going on, bat? Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you joining in. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good day. Ooh, we need to get down. Let's go and reset our MCP altitude. Uh, our initial altitude fix for the ILS is 6,000. So I'm going to go ahead and set 5,000 so we can get below the glide slope. Hey, don't curse near Mecca. What do you mean? What are you talking about? I cuss all the time if you guys have not. <laughs> if you have not seen that. So you might need to adjust your, <laughs> adjust your ears for the senses because I, I cuss all the time. All right, let's go ahead and get some more flaps out. We're going to go flaps five now. And after the song, we'll go ahead and kill the music. Going to get landing rate monitor open for you guys. Smash that sub button. I could not agree more. Would greatly appreciate that. All right, guys, music is coming off. Go and get our sim sounds back up. Saucy is back coming in with a subscription. Saucy is back. Welcome to the Frequent Flyers Club. Massive W's in chat for Mr. Saucy is back. Appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. Hope you're having a good day, my friend. Just a sensitive <laughs> flight line. <laughs> Freedom of speech. People can say whatever they want to say. I don't control anybody. I just do me. Yeah, I got you, Micah. 
Yeah, I cuss like a sailor, so I do apologize if it offends you guys. Just let me know if it becomes too much. I'll dial it back. And Madrid traffic, Europa 6024 is turning on final, about 220 nautical miles from the field. Madrid. Alrighty, guys, let's go ahead and arm up this localizer. We're going to get flight recorder open for you guys so we can get a beautiful look at this landing into Madrid. Beautiful approach, man. Look at this, man. Gorgeous. Look at that. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. All right, guys, we've got that localizer. Go around altitude for this approach is going to be. Hold in at 5,000. All right, cool. So 5,000 will be our top altitude for the go around if we need to. Missed approach, uh, climb on runway heading to the uh, Barajas VOR. Continue on radio 180 Barajas and uh, direct 12.5 uh, Barajas, 5,000 or below. Turn right and follow the 264 radio and direct to row fix and join holding at 5,000. Sweet. Do not climb above 5,000. All right, so we'll keep 5,000 in the MCP for right now. Let's go and arm up this approach. Let's go and slow down 180 knots. Really awesome scenery. Uh, yeah, absolutely, man. Spain is beautiful, dude. Or España. All right, let's go flaps 10. Beautiful, man. Look at that scenery down there. Gorgeous. Alrighty, guys, make sure you smash down that like button. We are at 27 likes. Can I hit 30 by the end of stream? I would greatly appreciate that. Let's go ahead and get these. Uh... Did you get the I and I builds looting? No, I did not have geek. Not yet. I'm kind of on a uh, a pause with buying sceneries right now. Do you have world update installed for Spain? Yes, I do, Micah. Yes, I do. Alrighty, guys, we are fully established. We're looking good. We need to go ahead and set our approach V ref. It's with flaps 30, 144 knots on the landing. And we're on about a 10 mile final. Madrid traffic, Europa 6024, 10 mile funnel, 18 left. Madrid. Not sure what this is here. Not a fan of that. Uh, can't even install the add-ons from Microsoft. Got no room for them. Ah, uh, yeah, man. That's the problem with flight sim is you need a big-ass hard drive for it. Good deal. It shall super set. Yeah. The Madrid airport is beautiful, Micah. 2,500. All right. 2,500 feet. Let's go ahead and go gear down. Let's go and slow to our view ref speed. 144 knots. Go and get flaps 15 out. As we keep slowing down. Go flaps 25. And we'll go flaps 30. Beautiful, guys. Got a whole other one terabyte drive for my Microsoft add ons. I got so many. Yeah. I have a uh, two or a three terabyte hard drive for Microsoft. I think it's two. 
owls. <laughs> Got owls texting me about something. <laughs> hey, bro, you texted me. <laughs> he has a, he sit here and says, now look up and land your damn plane. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. <laughs> freeware or payware senior? This is freeware. My God, this is handcrafted Madrid with the uh, world update. All right, beautiful guys, landing gear is down, indicating three green. We got flaps, uh, position 30, indicating with the green light. Speed brakes are armed, lights are on. Engine switches to the continuous position. We're looking good, auto brakes are set to three. Lovely. Sim links are a lifesaver, agreed, light speed, agreed. Oh, you know what we didn't set? We didn't set our uh, minimums. So that's gonna be 229. Madrid has handcrafted one of the premium versions of Microsoft. My God. Yep. Yep. 1,000 feet stabilized. We'll continue. Part of the deluxe version, I think, not the premium deluxe. Yeah, I'm not sure. Have a good landing, Captain. I appreciate that cockpit virtual. Appreciate that, buddy. All right, guys. Get those landing rates in chat. We got flight recorder recording. We got landing rate monitor open. Let's have a good landing in the Madrid, guys. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and take the throttles. And my airplane. For three red, one white. It's about perfect for Microsoft Glide Slope. 30 likes W. I appreciate that, guys. All right. Go ahead and get those landing rates in chat, guys. Let's see what we got here. Getting a little low there. Just go ahead and pitch the nose up just a little bit. Arrest that descent just slightly. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. Beautiful. And we're down. Go ahead and maintain that center line. Man, the ground physics is the one thing I don't like about the simulator, I'll tell you. Negative 227. Man, that's been a that's been a theme with me lately. I get a beautiful landing on my first landing with the 737, right? And then my next landing is very average. Not bad though. Negative 227. I'll take that. Negative 227. Five degrees pitch up and 0.93 on the G's, though. That's a very, very good landing in my opinion. Alright, beautiful guys. <laughs> Owls. <laughs> Beautiful. And we're down. We'll go and take this high speed. And Madrid traffic. Uh, Europa 6024 is vacated. 1 8 left. Yankee 5. Uh, Madrid. Beautiful. Not bad at all. Got a negative 188. Uh, 188. Nice. Nice. Very, very nice. All right, guys, let's go and get our landing lights off. Let's go and get that APU started up. All right, spoilers can come in. Flaps are coming up. Textbook landing indeed. I appreciate that, Isaac. Well done. Thank you, Micah. Appreciate that, guys. Can anyone tell me where the hell Air Europa parks in Madrid? As I feel like I was parked at the wrong terminal when we uh, departed here earlier today. Realistic landing, I appreciate that, Micah. Thank you, sir. Let's go and stop this recording. We're gonna have a beautiful replay of this landing. Where in the fuck am I parking? Terminal four, where's terminal four? Okay, terminal four is right here. Alrighty, beautiful. We just got to find ourselves a gate or a stand. And we'll call it a day, man. Never again. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you joining in. Welcome to the stream. Southwest side, Terminal 1. 
So the southwest side of Terminal 1. Really? Your guess is better than mine, right? Terminal 1? Oh, so we are going to Terminal 1. Okay. That's going to be a long taxi. So I departed out of Terminal 1. Terminal 1. Okay. I got you guys. I got you. I'm following. Because Flight Aware said uh, Terminal 4. But I don't know if that's accurate. Three more till 700 subs. Amen. I appreciate that, guys. You guys are absolutely awesome. Air Europa Madrid says Terminal 1. Check encounters 211-222. Hold on. We're going to figure this out. We're going to figure this out. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to uh, Flight Radar. Let's go ahead and open up Madrid. And see if there's any airplanes parked there in real life. And see where we can't park. Iberia, 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 Iberia. See, Air Europa is going to Terminal 2. Oh, nope. Okay. Yep. That's accurate. We're going to Terminal 1. All right. Well, we'll keep taxing. Let's we'll keep taxing. Have to go. I'll be back in 10. Just got to go take a shower. Sounds good, Abby. We'll probably still be taxiing by then, to be honest. <laughs> but we'll, can we'll continue taxiing. Yeah, there, there, there's a uh, Air Europa parked over at Terminal 1 and 2 right now, so we're just going to go park over there. Great live stream. Glad I can tune in for the ending. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care for now. Good day. I appreciate you, Mike. I will see you in the next one. Hope you have a good rest of your day as well. We'll see you. Yeah, look at that terminal. Beautiful. Negative 227. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. rudder pedals would you recommend for flight sim uh basonic i use the logitech pro fly uh pro rudder pedals so these or the Thrustmaster uh rudder pedals or um i know there's another uh type of rudder pedals out there but i can't remember but if you're on a budget definitely the the logitech rudder pedals for sure i see a nice one keep it up and ever again i appreciate you buddy thank you so much for tuning in i will see you in the next one we're just going to get taxi to the gate, and then we're going to go ahead and check out this, uh, go and check out this landing, and we'll call it a day. It's a big ass airport, man. Uh, no, Isaac, I have the Logitech Pro rudder pedals. Oh, yeah, the Turtle Beach rudder pedals, too. The Turtle Beach rudder pedals look really good. I was thinking about picking up a pair of those just to try them out. Ghostmaster TFRB are the best budget pedals, though. Yeah, true. Very true. Yeah, the Logitech rudder pedals are about 150 bucks, And I like them. They're really good. They're not bad at all.
Sorry, guys. Texting my wife real quick. All right, we're just going to keep on here until it uh, looks like taxiway Alpha 1-4, and then we'll take that taxiway down. Except the rudder pedals in Canada, minimum 200 bucks before tax. Yeah. Yeah. That's the unfortunate part, Isaac, unfortunately. Going to be taxiing down to this terminal over here. We genuinely could have landed 1-4 right, but I wanted to do what they did IRL. Alright, so this is Alpha coming up. I'm going to go ahead and take this left here. Go ahead and get taxi down into the terminal. Probably just take Tango One Four as a parking gate. That looks good to me. That is a massive freaking airport, man. And 697 subscribers. <coughs> we are three away from 700. Absolutely insane, man. Really do appreciate you guys. Got this stupid tug on the fucking taxiway, man. Wait, did you get the replay? Yes. Yes, we did, Isaac. We did indeed get the replay. You think this is a massive airport? Look at Dubai. I know, man. We've flown out of Dubai a few times. Last long haul we did, we departed out of Dubai. Dubai is huge. Our last long haul, we did uh, Dubai to London Heathrow in a Virgin Atlantic 787. It was a beautiful flight. We did that just a few days ago, if you want to check that stream out, Bat. Amsterdam is the king of long taxi, right? Look at uh, Heathrow. True. Very true. PC can't handle Dubai. Yeah, man. Took me a lot of years to get my PC to where it's at now. And I still want to do more upgrades. So my next upgrades are going to be getting into a DDR5 motherboard. Upgrading my CPU and my power supply. So I just upgraded to the 4070 graphics card. I want to get an i9-14900K uh, processor and a DDR5 RAM and motherboard. All right, guys, we are coming up to our gate. Looks like our gate right over here. I, I think. I don't know. Where's our gate?
Where the hell is our gate? Ah, there's our gate. Amsterdam is not that long of a taxi. Uh, I just hate so many taxiways. True. I have an i9 9900K. Is that okay for Microsoft? Yeah. Yeah, that should be fine. Light speed. All right, we're looking good, guys. Go ahead and just get taxied into our gate here. Taxi light can come off. Eyeballing an Alienware Aurora R16 desktop, 13th gen Intel Core i7, 16 gigs memory, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 Ti, 1TB of solid state. Nice. Not a bad computer at all. All right, let's see if we can't get a dance. That's the only thing I would say, Jack, is Alienware is a company I have not heard good things about. So I would, uh, I would definitely do your research. Intel Pro 9, they changed it to I to Pro. I gotcha. Why are you telling me to go right? I'm going to slow down because I feel like you're telling me some bullshit. Yeah, we're definitely not getting a dance. I'll tell you that. GSX is on some bullshit right now. All right, APU gens are coming online, guys. APU bleed. We'll go and shut down the engines. Beautiful. Beacon light can come off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Madrid. Absolutely beautiful. What BS are you going to tell me? Nothing? Okay. Sweet. Great advice. Yeah, definitely, definitely do your research, Jack, on Alienware before you purchase. They are overly, overly priced and not very well built. If if Jack, if you're looking into pre-built companies, I would highly, highly, highly recommend MSI. I have an MSI pre-built that I have upgraded since I bought it. Um, so I'd highly recommend MSI. Great stream, man. I appreciate that, Isaac. Yeah, this was a beautiful day of flying, man. I'll tell you. Absolutely beautiful day of flying. Hopefully this jetway connects. Nope, it's not going to. <laughs> uh, I hate this. I need to get a GSX profile. Look at what GSX told me to do. Look at this fucking parking GSX put me on. Are you kidding me? We were on that line, bro. No way. NZXT as well. NZXT as well. Here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to go ahead and restart Coital. We're going to go ahead and restart this. Uh, let's go ahead and disconnect from the network. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and complete this flight with Volanta, which it already has completed. Lovely. It's so dark in my room. There we go. Beautiful. MSI is my gaming monitor. Roger Wilco will do. Yeah, man. Uh, Jack, I love, love MSI computers. They are very well built. They are um, durable. I'd highly recommend them. Uh, homebrew Asus works great, but want to upgrade? Yeah, definitely, Jack, for sure. All righty, guys. Let's go and head down over to the menu. Let's go ahead and go to PMDG setup state load. We're going to go and load up the final. Go and execute that. Get this all set, ready to go. Let's go and uh, get Volanta out of here. Beautiful. Lovely day of flying, guys. Let's go and take a look at this uh, this replay, shall we? Let's go and make sure our doors are closed. All right, those are all closed. Beautiful. Scenery is not so good. Uh, yeah, I mean it's it's definitely not like like typical payware quality, but for me personally, for a default airport, this is good enough in my opinion. 
I like this airport a lot. Is it the best texture wise? No, but is it good enough? Yes, I would say. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this landing, shall we? Let's go and get these lights on. All right, let's go to replay. Let's go to replay here. Let's go and turn the sim sounds down just a bit. Get some music playing. And let's take a look at this arrival, shall we? Ooh, now it's very bright. And turn you down just a bit beautiful. Look back, damn, you weren't lying about the long taxi time. I told you, man. I told you, man. Love Asus products. Yeah, same here. I appreciate you flying with me, Zem. Beautiful, guys. What a beautiful day of flying. Beautiful approach into Madrid. Nice. Not a bad landing at all, guys. Not a bad landing at all. Beautiful. Oh, man. Look at that approach, dude. I don't know why my sim stutters when I'm on approach. Uh, yeah, Hendo. The Microsoft stuttering has been a constant issue for a very long time. As you can see, the sim is now starting to stutter for me as well. So it's not just you. And what a beautiful arrival. Proper realistic landing. I appreciate that, Avgeek. That's my goal, man. I don't try to get butters every time I land an airplane. I just go for technical and realistic landings. Beautiful, man. The Microsoft ground physics definitely made it look a lot rougher than it really was. I will say that. Not bad at all, though. 10 out of 10 landing. I appreciate that sauciest bet. Thank you. Thank you. Owl says noise. I appreciate that, man. Appreciate it very much. Not bad, guys. Not bad. All right. Let's go and take a look at some external views, shall we? Got to turn down the sim just a little bit more. And turn the sim down just a little bit. There we go. Beautiful approach into Madrid, man. Really enjoyed flying out of here today. Just the ground physics, man. Ground physics I don't like in this simulator. It's the only thing I complain about in this sim. I hope they fix it. We'll take a look from the front, and then we'll get our spotter view set up and ready to go, and we will call it a day. right past the captain bars as well lovely pro landing as always brother man i appreciate that jack appreciate that jack very much 
All righty, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, go right to where we touched down here. Go ahead and drop those spoilers one more time. Go to showcase. We're going to go and reset this position real quick. Let's go follow mode off, lock mode on, control space bar. go ahead and center this camera real quick center it there beautiful let's go ahead and take a look at this from the spotter view real quick and with the spotter view set up guys unfortunately y'all know what time it is unfortunately as your man has to start getting ready for work well ladies and gentlemen as always guys i really do appreciate you uh, for joining in with me today as we took to the virtual skies and flew from Madeira to Ibiza round trip. It was an absolutely beautiful day of flying. Really enjoyed flying into Ibiza, man. Like I said, if you guys want to check out that scenery through INI Builds, it is still currently on sale. I picked up that scenery for just over 12 US dollars. I would highly recommend it. It is a beautiful approach and a beautiful airport to fly in and out of. Um, we are going to be live again tomorrow. Not entirely sure what time, nor do I know what the hell we're doing. So I'm definitely going to figure that out when I get home from work today. I'm going to take a look at some routes at work as well. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Um, we are three subs away, guys. Three subs away from 700 subscribers, man. Absolutely insane. We're in and out stream today with 33 likes as well. Greatly appreciate you. Appreciate you guys for liking the stream. Three away from 700, man. Absolutely insane to think six months ago we started this channel. We're already at almost 700 subscribers. Absolutely insane, man. Really do appreciate you guys. Like I said, we will be live tomorrow. I'm going to get that live posted out tonight. It is going to be late, so just make sure you have your notifications on and make sure you're part of the Discord so you get notified when I go live. If you have not joined the Discord, make sure you join it. Exclamation point Discord in chat. Make sure you react to the rules to get your roles, and uh, you'll get uh, up to date uh, updates on the channel and all that kind of stuff when I'm going live and all that kind of good stuff. But... Uh, like I said, I will see you guys tomorrow. So from the virtual flight deck, guys, I will see you.